Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome for the very first time to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a game which has been covered so much already, and naturally I am incredibly late playing it myself. So this is a really fun, silly, and actually quite addictive looking game in which you simply place units to kill other units. It's really simplistic and a lot of fun fun, or at least it certainly looks like a lot of fun. It's also currently free over on their website, the link will likely be in the description, so I figured while it's still in alpha, let's give it a go. So. Let's get straight into it and straight into level 1. As you can see, I have not completed any of them yet, so hopefully we will do well. My goal today is to do the first 5 or 10 levels, depending on their difficulty. All I've done is played a little bit in the sandbox mode, which was actually pretty darn epic. There is a huge variety of units, and only like 20% of them are absolutely ridiculous. So let's get started, level 1. I should also mention very quickly that yes, I am using a new microphone, and no, it has not yet been correctly set up. It's in a terrible place on my desk, the soundproofing it needs isn't around it, and honestly, it probably will sound a little bit weird. This will be fixed by next week, but hopefully it's already an upgrade, considering the old microphone was just a headset microphone, which I had had for maybe four years. Okay, so against us, we have a simple line of peasants, or at least I believe they are indeed peasants. We have 500 money to spend, and we have a whole host of units to spend it on. So let's have a quick look-see what we actually have available to us. We have the headbutters, the vikings, the spear throwers, and the axemen. In the crusader tab, we have the thieves, the footmen, the archer, the ballista, and the catapult. Sadly, the last two being too expensive. For Greece, we have have spearmen, shields, and chariots. In Asia, we have a load of stuff. Samurai, ninja, I cannot pronounce that. Huacha is how I'm going to call it. Perhaps the H is silent. I really don't know. The samurai master and the ninja master, of course. In Napoleon, we have muskets, barrel rollers, and cannon crew. And in Misk, we have peasants, barbarians, farmers, boxers, chicken man, Hillary, Trump, obviously. The M16, Super Boxer, Chicken Man Man, Super Peasant, and Dark Peasant. So, I am going to go ahead... I'm going to kill them with thieves. Actually, I do want to have a quick look at the Barrel Roller. What on earth is a Barrel Roller? It's a man on a barrel. Of course it's a man on a barrel. And then if that doesn't kill them, shields will. This seems like a natural counter to this enemy. There we are. Seems reasonable. Let's start. Come on, you peasants, and... Oh, the barrel will explode and leaves behind a flaming wreck. Well, that was a pretty nice way to get into the game. Once again, we have peasants. This time we have more money. Okay. How much was the cannon? That's my question. The cannon was 500. Perfect. Come on, that's got to be perfect. Directly into these lovely groups. Blood for the blood god and all that. Even though I don't think there's much blood in this game. Well done, lads on the left. You tried. Oh, that was glorious. Will they get to the second cannon? Will they be able to win something? No, they won't. Okay, I do want to see what the peasants are actually like when they're fighting. So let's go back to the last level. I bet there's an easier way to do that, by the way. And I'm going to fight peasants with peasants. Let's make it a fair fight. So how many do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So nine. Three by three, Lathrix. Basic math skills. There we are. Three by three by three. And then do the same here. Come on, you reds. There we go. An actual bloodbath this time. Where's your right eye gone, sir? They kind of tried desperately to punch. What on earth happened over there? Oh, they split. Okay, that was weird. Oh, it looks close, but now it is 4v3. The reds are going to need some good luck. And we have been defeated by the ever-brave blues. 
I want to see Chicken Man. I want to see Chicken Man now. He poops out chickens! I mean, what else did you expect from Chicken Man? Yes, go my glorious chickens! <laughs> it seems like the chickens die very quickly once I've hit something there. Oh no! I don't want your chickens! They're not cooked enough! Look at the hatred in those eyes. Okay, okay, so chickens might not be good enough. That's fine. Now, the chariot is ridiculous. I mean, just look at that thing. But I don't want to use that just yet. Boxers, barbarians, which just have clubs, naturally. After this, we will, of course, carry on. I want to see headbutters. Give me a line of your best headbutters. Oh, they're going in for the tackle. A bit of glorious rugby. They're not all that good. Got to be honest. Very disappointed in those horned buggers. Okay, then. So what are these? They're like a ballista with many, many bolts. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, fire. Of course they are. Actually, you know what they are in real life. Derp. Hmm. Some grade A straddling there, boys. But no, that um didn't work out for the best. Peasants apparently can defeat these. A single ninja master. Oh, okay. You have throwing stars. Of course you do. I am very, very curious, though, what Trump and Hillary are going to be like. If Trump doesn't have a wall of some kind, I'm going to be so disappointed in this game. Okay, there we go. Let's finally continue, shall we? Okay, so against us we have... I believe they're the Crusader Footman and then Shields. So, what kills Footman and Shields? We have 1,500 to spend. Chicken Man. No, so... I'm thinking... I'm thinking the Archers won't work here. Because the shields, I think, counter archers. So we just need something that can crush them in sheer number. Could have the samurai. The crusaders versus the samurai. That seems reasonable to me. How much money do we have? And these are 50 each. Okay, so we'll just put down... I was going to say an even amount, then instantly I don't do it evenly. There we go. As you can probably tell, not doing the math in my head. Not sure if we have enough money. Nope, we definitely don't. Then the rest of them. This crew is the special crew. They are the best crew. Especially Tim. Tim is the best. Go, Tim! They kind of just like dive bomb. Oh, I don't think we're winning this. Oh, maybe we are. No, no. The shields are really powerful. <laughs> They're actually pretty good at killing things. Oh, ambush. The amount of dishonorable action there by the enemy. So, yeah, we need something to destroy these then. How about we have three of the barrel rollers, which do as much damage as possible. Then behind that, we have muskets. How do muskets do against shields is my question. Uh, got a little bit of money left. Let's go. Ooh, Vikings. We should test out the Vikings. A single brave spearman, Tim Incarnate. Oh, those barrels, though. Wonderful. So much carnage. Okay, musketmen do go through the shields. Look at their doodly little heads. Oh, you're my favorite little doodle heads. You're the best doodle heads. Spearmen, spearmen, spearmen. I'm thinking barrel, barrel, barrel. I really like those barrels, as you can probably tell. So I want three like this. So they all don't explode on the first row. And then behind that, maybe have archers who will be able to attack from a distance so we can put them a little bit closer. A single brave thief. Hello, Tim. I have no idea why the name Tim is currently being the one used here. Tim is the bravest of all thieves. Oh, that fire they leave, though. The napalm. Look at that. Just wandering into the fire, killing themselves. 
Going for the high jump, and he is stuck on the corpses of his comrades. Oh, there was one left. I did not realize this, okay? Are these the thieves? Okay, so they're really fast. So, obviously... Obviously, we're going with Trump. Because why wouldn't we? They actually have Trump quotes going off. That's bizarre. What on earth are those guns? Of course. You can do it, Trump! Don't let the catapults kill you! He built a wall! He actually built a wall. Oh my god. No! <laughs> the catapults didn't pay for it. Where Trump failed, can Hillary succeed? What on earth is Hillary going to do? Emails. She's an email ninja. In Soviet America, emails delete you. You know that was hilarious in my head, by the way. I'm sure at least one of you just laughed. How shameful is that? Come on! To laugh at such a bad joke? No! Those catapults are pure evil! No, don't fall off. I assume you lose if you fall off. Oh, goodbye, Hillary. You did just about as well as Trump there, buddy. Two chicken men. Farmers, barbarians. I did say we were going to test out the Vikings. Test out the Viking. Oh, Hillary, go away. I want Vikings now. Yeah, something tells me this won't work either. So, the problem is those catapults need to die very, very, very quickly. Ooh, now is the time, I think, to use a secret weapon. The chariots, because these are ridiculously fast and kind of just mow over things. And behind them, then have some archers to try and start hitting those catapults straight away. Okay, so right-click deletes one at a time. That is really good to know. Go! You must save Christmas! Go for the catapults, you reindeery fiends! No! Hmm. I feel very bad losing this many times, but at the same time, I'm having a lot of fun, so I don't really care all that much. Not really thinking too much, honestly, to be brutally honest. We could go with catapults ourselves. We will mimic the enemy. They have way many... Well, they have way more money than we do, then. Well, shields are going to be useless. That's the thing. I can't think of anything which will kill them before they kill us. But I do need guards, though. So I think... Oh! Maybe just don't bunch up the stuff as much as they have been doing. That will help. Limit the splash damage. Oh, uh, one of our catapults is on the on its side. This one got destroyed already. Oh. Damn it, Tim. Okay. It's time for the barrel rollers. Now, the hope is... The first will be focused by the catapult, and will kill all the people. Then at least one barrel will get through per catapult. Didn't happen. Did not happen. What about the ballista? How do these act? Because really, the guys down here are quite easy to deal with. It's just killing those first. Let's just see how they act. Okay, they act in a cool... Tim, you've joined the opposing side! I have two more theories. The first theory is to have a really scattered group of musket men or archers with cannons or catapults at the back, so they're really hard to kill, so we can technically kill those groups faster. The second option I've just thought of, which seems silly, how about if we go for sheer numbers. If we do something completely ridiculous, we have groups everywhere, just absolute swarms of peasants. Because even though these evil boulders of death can kill a lot of people per shot, it's not unlimited. 
So let's have some nice random groupings like this. And then a couple of outliers to be annoying and hopefully come into the fight later on. Oh, is there a limit? Oh, no, there's not. It's just performance is now on heavy, so this may lag like hell. And yet I'm okay with it. Do we want to add any more elite units, or should we just go with the swarm? You know what? Let's go with the swarm. If this doesn't work, it's at least going to be funny, and that's the important thing here. Oh. Didn't know we could do that. Now I do. Oh yeah, why Why am I not using the terrain? Le duh. Oh, the lag. Come on, me beautiful swarm. Oh, wow. I thought those rocks would be at least stopped by so many corpses, but nope, it just keeps on going. Also, called the living people corpses. Kind of shows how much faith I have in them. Yes! Mindless drones in a mass. Beware of stupid people in large numbers, for they can destroy your catapults. They are all Tim, for we are all Tim. For Tim is Legion. Okay. <laughs> okay, it actually worked. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. Uh, you musket men, okay. No, you're not, you're footman and footman. Okay, let's go with... A barrel. Actually, what level is this? We have reached level 6. Oh, do I do this one now or do I wait for the next video? Oh, I kind of just want to throw barrels at people. Oh, I want to throw barrels at people too much. Okay, I really need to make sure they go for the right target. So let's do like this. Then behind them... Have our own footman for a totally fair battle once all the barrels have been used. How about that? Barrels away for glorious flame. If they hit a rock, do they explode? Oh, that is satisfying. Two and three. Down they all go. And surprisingly, not as many as I thought had died. We're losing this. Okay, so what I need to do is make it so they keep on walking forwards afterwards. So put them there, put them there, put them there. Then make sure there's units directly behind them so that they keep on walking forwards and end up walking through the fire. Essentially doing what you should never do in World of Warcraft. I want them to stand in the fire. Begin! No! Dum Dum! Tim! Who gave you a barrel? Damn it, Tim. Yes, perfect. Oh, this is going to be so close. Come on, be accurate, please. Okay, good. Very different... Did you just kill your friend? Friendly fire is a thing. Good to know. Of course it is. We've seen it earlier. No! Stragglers! I didn't notice you. Where's your sword? What's up with your arm? Holy hell! War isn't pretty, lads. Why do you not have any bayonets? Now, Tim. Tim, my boy. Timmy, Tim, Tim, Tim. Timothy. Bob. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. Obvious. Even for me. Do the thick. No, look. Yes, good. Straight line this time, lads. That's it. Clamber onto the burn pile. Still a few survivors. That one's going to die. Excellent. Oh, massacred. They look so tired, the footmen, don't they? Accuracy, lads. Almost as good as mine. Yep. Brilliant. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. No! That tactic is working so well. Hold them at a gun's length and slowly walk backwards. This is the hero of the Blue Nation. Oh my god, he so totally is. Oh, his arm is so mangled again. You can do it. You can do it, you glorious derpy knight. 
rooting for the enemy team, because why not? Um, this seems relatively simple. Barrel. Anything really long range. Barrel. Uh, we could go with muskets. I imagine the muskets are outrange the bows, although they are muskets. So I don't really know. Oh, I know what would deal with archers. Swarm. Swarm would be very good against, against archers. But this time... Farmers. And once again, we have to have at least a couple of people behind the barrel. So they keep walking forward into the fire. Of course, this time these people will walk into the fire themselves, but... We believe in them. Wait, how did that barrel just explode? No, 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 no. Show me that again. Oh, our arch- Tim! Who gave Tim a bow? Rule one, do not give Tim a bow. No! What are you dum-dums doing? Well, at least he's happy. <laughs> Oh, this isn't going to end well. Oh, no, the are Oh, in the knee! He used to be an archer like you. Uh-oh. Did that arrow just go right through your crotch? Not a usual problem, I admit, but... Okay, so... I think we're on to something this time. We are on to something. Barrel. Then... Don't really care too much. Something slow behind it. There we go. This time, though, these guys are going further back. Oh, why don't I just use shields? Didn't we learn anything from earlier? Shields. And then anything. I mean, even the shields can probably just deal with it with, by themselves, honestly. But shields. And then how about a couple of footmen? Have an archer there and an archer here, because that looks cool. Oh, no, we can't have the second. This will be Thieves Rock. It sounds like a real place and everything. My shieldmen are dying to arrows. That's the one thing you're meant to counter. Be like this guy. Kill them with the stubs. Did you just kick him forwards? You arse. <laughs> like really, basic common sense would have helped out. But to be fair, I am recording this in my spare time, which of course means half three in the morning. A line of musket men. Okay, so... Outrange them. Oh, but in that horrible line they're in. Maybe chariots would work so fast they are. The shields don't work here. Hmm. Or we could outgun them. Face the wrath of the United States of America. <laughs> oh dear God. That, he lost the gun. No. Oh. Oh dear. Oh no. Put up the wall, damn it. What are you doing? It does take them a long time to load, though, so how about we go with the ever-glorious, ever-graceful chariots? Because they're going to get there in a second. Oh, I bet this one going is going to get stuck on this rock. I bet you anything. Oh, no, he's going the other way. Good, never mind. Oh, look at that beautifulness. Look at that. Just drifting into them. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful? Beautiful, lads. No! Yes! And Christmas was saved thanks to me. I think once again, chariots. But for now, I am going to leave it here. I don't really have that much time. I really hope you've enjoyed the game. It seems fun as hell to me, and I would love to start covering the updates, as this game does get very regularly updated. Sadly, I did miss the April Fool's update, which apparently was really good. So, 
Shame about that. Glad I finally picked it up. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Tabs is a series you would like to see continued in the future. It won't be a long series, hopefully it will be a fun one, and we can even go into the sandbox and be absolutely stupid as well. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye.